because our physical therapist again today's session is about the glute strengthening the muscles in the buttocks i'm going to show you the picture of the buttocks muscles and uh, i want you to know how important they are this is the gluteus maximus muscle the big one right here the gluteus maximus and the other side we have gluteus medius and the ones uh, down here are uh, gemellus muscles and the piriformis which they are in deeper section uh, comparing to the glutes so we have all the glutes muscle here and i want to introduce you to the sciatica nerve the little band that you can see is like a rope that goes underneath that deep uh, glute muscles or piriformis muscles and you can see how important and how big and thick that sciatica nerve is the sciatica nerve is the nerve that innervates all the, uh, goes down and innervates all the leg air muscles, or even down to the toes and all the shin muscles and everything. So uh, when we have that weakness on the uh, leg and the shooting pain down to the leg, some people feel the leg falling asleep, they have a spasm on the shin muscles, especially. Uh, these are all the symptoms of the sciatica involvement. Sciatica get an in get, can get involved if you have a disc problem or disc bulge or it can get involved if you have a glute muscles that are tight or the glute muscles that are inflamed for some reason or dysfunctional uh, that can cause sciatica issue at the same time the glute muscles are responsible for you to stay straight if you don't have a good glute muscles you have a tendency to bend over and lean forward people that lean forward that they develop hip uh, flexor tightness as we already talked about or they can uh, they can get that posture because of the uh, tight hip flexor or they can get that tightener that posture because of having the glute muscles that are not strong enough to bring them upwards okay so usually the glute needs to be strong to support our lower back it's very important so now that you understand how important the glutes are i'm going to go over the easy exercises for the glute maximus and the medius they are both helping with the back pain. So for glute maximus that does external rotation and the, also the piriformis that does external rotation, what we can do, we can uh, go ahead and uh, flex the knees, put the feet on top of each other, tighten up the abdomen again to engage the core and abdominal muscle and go all the way up and down. Very easy. Okay. It's gonna be the clamshell exercise. It, look, it looks like a clam opening, right? And closing. Okay, the next exercise, glute medius, is more in the side. The first one's the one more in the back. This one for the one more in the side. So we're gonna go ahead and bring the leg up uh, like that, a little towards the back to turn off that front muscle. You don't want the front muscle to work. You want the back muscle to work. So we're gonna go ahead and external rotate or um, rotate the toes upward towards the ceiling. And we go up and down like that. Not a big motion again. Try not to get that uh, oblique muscles up involved. Tighten up here. Don't rotate front and back. Stay straight. Keep it towards the back. Keep it rotated upward your toes go up hold a little bit and drop okay these are two important glute strengthening exercises but i can show you more if you don't have problem in the wrist or in the knee you can go ahead and get down to your uh, baby position again crawling position quadruped you can be on your uh, either on your fist or on your hand whatever is more comfortable tighten up the uh, abdomen make sure you have a good pelvic tilt and neutral uh, pelvic tilt right there tighten up the abdomen go up and down you don't have to get it too straight because if you're getting it too straight you're gonna uh, activate the hamstring more you don't want that you want the glute maximus more so we're gonna keep it semi bent and go up and down you remember we had such a motion on the multifidus multifidi but that was not a real extension. That was more of a pelvic, very small motion. This time we have the big motion. You're welcome to add the opposite hand to turn 
bring it to a little bit of more of a balance exercise and activate your core again, lower abdominal at the same time. Remember we talked about the shoulder flexion, how it can activate the lower abdominal. And then you can do it on the other side. Activate your core. Keep your neck in a good position. Tuck your chin a little bit if you want. Okay. The next one is going to be the doggy ping position, which is funny. So like that terminology makes you remember that forever, probably. So this is going to be five hydrant exercise. So you're going to be in the same position. Open and close like the little dog that wants to pee. This is going to be again for glute maximus and performance strengthening. Okay. Okay. Not only talked about the glute strengthening, we can talk about some of the advanced ones. So it's going to be very easy. Adding the band to all of this exercise already shown, I can make it more progress. Easily you can progress this. So we're going to do this way, adding the band for clam. The band should be above the knee for clam. Okay, for sideline abduction, we can add the band in the same position. Okay, and for the other two exercises, we can hold the band with the opposite knee, go like this, and the other side, we're going to go like this, and same thing for five hydrant, you can go ahead and do this. Okay, and adding the band and doing the other one. That's all for today. This, that was the glute strengthening exercises. I, could, uh, I hope you enjoyed it and you can uh, really use it during your strengthening exercises to help your back to be able to get better. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the journey to be stronger. Bye-bye.